Welcome to the Lanvan Showcase. First, let's explore the problem Lanvan was designed to solve. Meet Alex and Brian, two friends working on a video project from home. Alex is working on his computer when he discovers his video files are corrupt. So he asks Brian to send the original files from his iPhone. But when Brian tries Google Drive, the app won't load, as a quick check of his phone's settings shows the Wi-Fi is down. So he uses a simple pen drive, but immediately runs into a problem because the plug doesn't fit the phone. And even with an adapter, it shows that the pen drive itself has issues. So as a last resort, they try a direct cable connection, but that fails too, as the computer shows no available files. AirDrop doesn't work between an iPhone and Windows. Bluetooth is too slow for large files. Why should a simple task be such a massive headache? It's a reality anyone sharing files between devices knows all too well. But that reality changes today. We've built the solution. Introducing LanVan. It's time to unleash your files. Move anything, from documents to high-definition videos, and watch it sync instantly across all your devices. Connection is effortless. Use a simple, friendly name or a quick QR code scan, and you're in. LanVan is more than file sharing. It's a unified workspace. Your clipboard syncs in real time across devices, from plain text to high-resolution images. All of this runs securely with end-to-end -end encryption entirely within your local network, without the need of internet. Fast, simple, secure. That's the new reality of sharing. Next, we have mechanics, which reveals how everything works behind the scenes. First, LanVan instantly sets up your device to be the main hub for sharing. Next, it gets a unique address on your network, making it visible to your other devices on the same Wi-Fi or hotspot. Then it opens up a secure private pathway, allowing all your other devices on the network to connect. And finally, your private sharing network goes live. The story of LanVan's core begins with a failure. Our first version was built with Flask, but it couldn't deliver the speed we needed. This sent us back to the start to replan. We looked at various options like Django, Node, JS, and others, but none were as good as Fast API or as suited for our system. So we took the risk, bet on the new solution, and rebuilt the entire system with Fast API. Lanvin adapts to your files using a powerful smart upload decision engine. This engine acts like an intelligent traffic controller. It sends small files in one go, but breaks large ones into smaller pieces called chunks. The chunk size and transfer method are then adjusted based on your device's power and network speed. It also provides security by scanning every byte it receives. It's not just about moving bytes, it's about moving them smartly, efficiently, and safely. LanVan's clipboard system begins by turning your device into a radio receiver. As other devices connect and send messages or images via the clipboard, they go to the LanVan server, which acts like a radio tower. The server then sends the same message to every connected device, and this way, all devices get their clipboard content updated. Our biggest challenge with LanVan wasn't just file transfer, it was building the encryption. We tried using various encryption methods, including ChaCha20, but none were as suitable as AES CBC encryption for LanVan. It's a trusted standard that works smoothly with your device, giving strong protection along with the best performance and battery life. LanVan works like a shopkeeper who quickly checks your file's size, type, and details before sending it on. It also looks around, checking your device's space, power, and network speed before moving forward. Using this information, LanVan acts like a traffic cop, adjusting the plan in real time to move your file smoothly. LanVan makes sure each chunk, along with its details, is safely encrypted before being transferred. So this is how LanVan keeps your files safe without slowing them down. When you turn on AES encryption, LanVan automatically keeps your files safe, whether you use HTTP or HTTPS mode. So for faster speed, you can use any mode without AES. For maximum privacy and security, turn AES encryption on. Note that this system works only with AES encryption. Let's be honest, painfully typing long, clumsy IP addresses just to connect your devices is a nightmare. But we also have solution for that. LanVan has a smart MDNS system, which allows you to connect to LanVan by just typing lanvan.local. LanVan is designed to work completely offline, right on your own local network, which is your Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot. 
LanVan works on a simple host and client setup, where the host is the user running the LanVan application on their local network. Then you have your clients, any other device you own, whether it's a phone, laptop, or tablet. As long as it's on the same network, it just connects through the web browser. That's it. No extra apps needed. Instead of building full native apps, we chose a simpler path using Termix and focusing on our web app. With just two simple macros using MacroDroid, we automated the LanVan startup process along with its shutdown. Simply open the app, select a mode to start LanWen, and close it by tapping the notification. The only downside of using Termux is that installing modules can be tricky, and you need to install all dependencies, including Python. Anyone who's worked on a complex project knows the pain. With every new feature, the time you spend on testing increases. We hit that wall with LanVan, so we built a custom tool that runs full checks of entire system and reports issues instantly. And that's just a glimpse of the engine under the hood. Now let's take a look at LanVan's current limitations and its future scope. As we've seen, LanVan operates on a host client model. It also comes up with its own strengths and flaws. To overcome these flaws, we decided to implement peer-to-peer -peer architecture. While you're watching this video, we are still working on the peer-to-peer -peer architecture. We've made several attempts so far, learning and improving with each one. In the future, the next major version will feature a full peer-to-peer -peer architecture. Since LanVan isn't a native app, the web version may sometimes fail if the client system closes it in the background. But because we want zero installations on client devices, this is a limitation we accept for now. However, for the host device, a native app will be essential in the future for more control. There's so much more I want to discuss, but to keep it short, you can see some of the highlights on screen, which includes our next focus, that is a basic access control system for enterprise use. We also tried implementing this system, but it didn't perform as expected. We're also exploring a light app or API to auto-forward data for critical or remote scenarios. Next, we have some visuals showcasing the work we've done from start to finish during our journey of building LanVan. LanVan started as just an idea, and we kept building, testing, and fixing along the way. Some parts failed, some had to be rebuilt from scratch, but every feature you see today came out of that process. This has been a true passion project, and we're proud to share it with you. The GitHub link for the project is in the description. Please note that the main branch is the most stable. We'll also be adding an installation guide soon. The features and interface may differ slightly from what you've seen here. This project was brought to life by the dedicated work of the entire LanVan team. We'd like to thank our project guide for their invaluable mentorship. And finally, to everyone watching, thank you for your time and attention.